Oh, yeah, I like this beanie. This beanie's hard. Yep. So what's up, guys? I wanted to talk about this shoe because once again, it always brings up the same controversy that I love to bring up when it comes to the shoe company. Because honestly, when it comes down to it, I love the shoe company. I always have. And I've always preferred this shoe company, but I'm really upset with their performance in skateboarding right now. So with that being said, I went and grabbed myself a pair of Lucas Pugues. These are really, really dope. I was thinking about skating them, but I have another, ooh, let me put you guys down. I was thinking about skating these, but I have another shoe on the way that I think is going to be a little bit more important than the Adidas brand at the moment, but I do like these shoes. I'm probably gonna keep these clean because they're like clean, like almost completely white suede. Um, it's more of a cream or whatever, but I still wanted to go on ahead. Let me focus it, hopefully. Yeah, I still wanted to go on ahead and talk about these shoes anyway, just because I know that right now, this is one of the shoes that Adidas is still selling heavy. Um, it's these, the Taishan, Taishan Low, the Forum apparently is still selling. I didn't really know that. The Match Break is selling. The Match Break is actually a little cool, um, but it's it's too similar to the Boost Nits 2, which is also selling. And I think I've covered all of Adidas. Oh, oh, uh, the Gazelles, or Giselles, Gazelles? The Gazelles, um, and that includes the uh, Mark Sutru signature. And then you see a few pairs of superstars here and there. Either way, it's not what Adidas is used to doing. Adidas is a company that's used to bringing out new models every single year. But since COVID uh, in 2020, they've kind of been like on the drawback or the slow, I don't know how to explain that. They've just been slowing down. So with that being said, I believe that this year is the year that Adidas can either bring themselves back out of this funk and get back to where they were in skateboarding or this is the year that Adidas will completely fall out of skateboarding and New Balance will literally take over everything that they had going on. And the reason why I say New Balance is because New Balance does make shoes the most similar to Adidas. I look at Brandon Westgate's 508s and I'm just, I look at that shoe and I see a pair of boost knits, uh, the cup sole ones, and they literally feel the same on foot. But I'm not gonna lie, the new balances feel slightly more durable. Just saying. This is coming from a guy who loves Adidas. With that being said, I did get my hands on these Lucas Pugues. These are really sick. This shoe, I definitely recommend you get a half size down. I did a half size down and they fit me perfectly a half size smaller. Um, like I was saying, I don't want to skate them because they are really clean. Plus, I have another shoe on the way that is actually going to be very important to you guys. Um, or I would like to think so. It's going to be important to me because I've been waiting on that shoe since last year, uh, August or so. But this shoe is mostly suede. It's going to be suede in all of your high wear areas, except for this little piece of like, oh, wait, what is this? This mesh kind of almost feels like satin material. But um, that that little bit right there can hit certain people's ollie areas. My ollie area is up here, so I know mine is completely protected by the suede. Going to the heel counter, you do have that suede mostly in the area of where you would do your heel flips, your barrel heels, your lasers, whatever heel flip variations you do with the mesh going towards the top half. So if you still are concerned about ripping your mesh, you might rip the top here, but I think you'll still be fine in the shoe. And then going to the heel here, you do have the raised sole, which was a very controversial piece when the shoe first came out. But now people actually seem to like it a little bit more. It does hold structure to your heel. So your heel doesn't really move off side to side. Even when the shoe starts to really break down, this is going to really hold the heel, the shoe really stable. So it's going to be harder to roll your ankle towards the back, like towards your heel. And then coming back around, it's in the same general areas. Your three stripes are still made of leather. So you probably still will tear through them as you do heel flips or if your ollie area is like further back towards this one here. And you do have the iron on Lucas Pugue uh, name here. On the tongue, this material, I really can't really tell you what you, this is. Um, it's some form of plastic for sure, without a doubt, some form of plastic. I know Adidas is still doing the like 
waste management thing. So I think that this is what that tongue is gonna be. It is like perforated, there are holes in there. So there's gonna be a little bit of airflow, but not as much as that you used to. But there is gonna be a little bit of airflow because the uh, tongue is perforated, but not as much airflow as a fully meshed out tongue. Either way, there is perforations on the tongue and perforations on the toe here. The insole here is actually a somewhat decent one. It's an Adidas uh, regular foam insole. It's nothing crazy. It does have a little bit of arch support here and it is a little bit stiffer. This is a cup sole shoe. So the insole being a little bit stiffer is gonna help out with that impact protection. And then you do have a pretty decently uh, solid heel actually. I When this shoe originally came out, I thought they were using the bounce technology in an Adidas skate shoe, kind of like how I thought it, they were using the bounce technology in the Taishans. Turns out they're not using bounce technology. I forget what the technology actually is in the sole of the, in the midsole of the shoe, but it's a little bit squishy, just a tiny bit, like more of a uh, dense rubber. So it's a little bit squishy. You could kind of feel that would take some impact on the sides here. And then the sole is a um, pretty unique Adidas treading. Um, you have your triangle tread here where you actually need the deeper grooves. So it's here where your big toe would be, where all that shifting and shimmying is gonna be at. But then going towards the midfoot and all that, you have this like Spitfire treading almost, like the zigzag treading that Spitfire likes to do. Um, this isn't a Spitfire collaboration. I just think about Spitfire when I see stuff like that. And then you have deeper treading on the outsides of the heel. I think the deeper treading on the outside of the heel is to also help with the stability of going from side to side since this shoe has a lot more structure than the average Adidas shoe when it comes to your heel. Um, overall, the shoe is pretty dope. I believe the shoe is backed by Addy Tough, but don't take my word for it because I do know that I have seen pairs of these that are backed by Addy Tough in the description and then I have seen pairs that say nothing about Addy Tough in the description. I do believe that all pairs of the Lucas Pugues are backed by Addy Tough, so I'm gonna stand by that, but you don't have to take my word for it. And your laces are also protected by an internal lacing system. This is just how it is uh, pre-set up, and you only have one exposed lace towards the very, very top, so for all you super heel flippers, you probably will still tear through that top lace, but you don't have to worry about flying through any other lace on the shoe. So with that being said, there are no backup laces, but you shouldn't need them. This is a review of the Lucas Puke by Adidas. Now, with that being said, I won't be skating them like I said before, or if I did say it before. And the only reason is because I have another shoe that is going to be on the way that I feel like is gonna be a little bit more relevant to the times. Plus, I really do like this shoe. I like to hold on to it, keep it clean. I don't really hold on to skate shoes that often. Um, uh, on the contrary to what you guys think when it comes down to me owning a lot of shoes, I just grab shoes, skate them, and I normally skate them to a point where I'm just like, yeah, no, I wouldn't keep these. And the only pairs of shoes that I do keep after skating them happen to be Vans because Vans, they're made to be messed up. But normally, once I get start getting like a specific amount of scuffs, even if there isn't a hole in the shoe, once I get past a certain amount of scuffs where I can't like preserve the shoe, in a way where it still looks brand new, then I'm like, yeah, I don't even want to keep it. So then I end up donating it or giving it to a homie who needs a skate shoe, or I just hold on to them until one of those two things are plausible. But anywho, that's all I got for you guys. This is a review of the Lucas Pugue. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Now, I do want to know what you guys really think about Adidas in skateboarding right now. Do you guys think that Adidas is going to make a huge comeback here in 2022? Because I personally do believe that if there was a year that Adidas needs to really come out swinging in skateboarding, it is this year. Because with brands like New Balance literally coming out of nowhere, making similar shoe models and coming into skateboarding and taking over the way that they have been, Nike is always on top of their game. Vans is always creating stuff and always has a climate where you can come grab shoes from them no matter what. And then there's this, everybody's going hard this year. Lakai's going crazy. They're dropping shoes left and right. It's a very hard market for skateboarding when it comes to being a top dog in the shoe industry. And for Adidas to have been so high up there and just drop the ball like that, I feel like if they can't, make the comeback this year, it's going to be hard to remain in skateboarding, especially with the statements of 
pulling out of skate shops and only giving to premium shops and all that extra stuff. In my personal opinion, I feel like that was the wrong way to go about it, even with the struggle of COVID. But at the same time, I can't tell you that I would do something different if I was the head of Adidas because once again, they're dealing with a whole bunch of crazy accounts. And for somebody who has once worked for Adidas, yeah, it gets crazy. But I would love to see them back in skateboarding because once again, this was one of my favorite brands. Vans and Adidas were always the two shoe companies I would want to have shoes from. Just because to me, I always like the look of the three stripes. I always like the jazz stripe. I'm not really huge on Nike, but I've been buying a lot more Nikes lately. Like for instance, the iShaws and stuff like that. But personally, when it comes down to it, I'm always going to be an Adidas head. And I would love to see Adidas come back to skateboarding. So I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, let me know. Do you guys want Adidas to come back swinging? Do you want to see some new shoes from Adidas? Do you want to see some riders who have been on Adidas for a while get some pro model shoes out there, some new colorways? Because I think it's it's time, man. It's time for Adidas to really start showing out for all their riders right now and uh, to come back swinging in a way that we don't even expect. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Adidas. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Lucas Puke. I know this shoe is old now, but I don't care. I still wanted to review them for you guys because I think you guys still deserve that. I'm Jay Skate Day. Thanks for stopping by this video. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed, go on ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm dropping videos as much as possible. But I'm not giving you guys a schedule because you're going to hold me to it. And then I'm not going to be able to do that for you guys. So with that being said, I have videos um, out every month <laughs> because I'm not even going to tell you guys weekly because then you're going to hold me to that and things happen. But yeah, catch you guys in the next video. It's going to be a fun one. As always, peace out. Go skate. Have a great day and uh, catch you guys next time. Ciao. No way. Everybody's living like the clock don't change Me and comfortable equivalent to the same old thing I'll be damned if I am living like this not a better day It's my time to go and get it, fuck what anybody say